<laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good, cozy morning to you. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Yes. Um, weather report from Chicago. Snowy as fuck. It's as so pretty. It out. It's so beautiful and it just keeps coming down. And um, yeah, it's a goddamn winter wonderland. Uh, yep. And it is delightful. It feels uh, great. It feels great for business. So that's important. Good for business. Mm -hmm. Good for business. Mm -hmm. We love it. Um, also, breaking news from my phone, Laura. Oh, uh, that pedo that pedophile. Uh, You'll have he, to be more specific. I'll have to be. Gats is that how you say his name? I don't like. Yeah, to Gates. Speak. I don't like to. Poops. Uh, he he withdrew his nomination for attorney general. So that dude is guilty as fuck. I don't feel like that would have stopped him, but hey, they must have something else you didn't work other than question. having sex with a child. Uh, we don't care about that, uh, clearly. Uh, I mean, it's wild. I don't know. I'm glad, uh, great devil, we know who's coming, who's coming on the pipeline. So yikes yeah. well thanks phone thanks for the moment of good news i will continue i saw a TikTok right before i got out of this guy being like people that don't like snow need to get out of my face because snow is the perfect way to disassociate it just blankets all of the ugly in beautiful beautiful crystalline powder and i'm like that's it that's what i need let it snow people because i just all this trash needs a little bit of powder on it because i can't I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Super nice. It keeps people in Chicago really hate snow. They hate it so much. Um, uh, uh, that's how you know a real Chicagoan, Laura. We are just transplants mm -hmm. here. We are visitors. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, love it so much. Everyone leaves you the fuck alone when it's snowing. Uh, it's amazing. Love it so much. Uh, so yeah, but real Chicagoans are out there freaking the fuck out. Um, yep. Bless them. Bless them. It'll be raining well, in like I, two hours. So it will. then you'll be happy. I, I made a 20 minute drive in this weather this morning. That is supposed to be a 20 minute drive. That took me an hour. And I had a great time. I had a great time. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to go the speed I'm going to go. There's ice on my brakes. And I, my car is still in 100% good condition. So it's fine. Got it. You, you just gotta throw on a podcast you gotta do. and you yeah. got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. You got to get through it. So happy to be looking at your beautiful face, Laura, wearing that beautiful Likewise. Leelana sweater. Look Thank at that. Thank you. And uh, got to say, uh, matching your sweater to your lip color really yeah. bring in all the vibes also. I love this. You know, the hair uh, was under a hat for a good hour and I didn't quite realize till I got home. I was like, oh, not enough time to shower. We're going to just, we're going to have everybody look in this region. Not so much up here. And I think that, I think I achieved the effect. I think I yes. got it done. Yeah. Um, um I saw exciting Leela Na knit along yes. updates on the socials uh, this morning. Yes. Do you want to want to start there? Uh, Let's do it. Know more personally. Let's do it. Well, thank you so much for your excellent acting um, and uh, teeing me up perfectly to talk about the fourth annual Leela Na Knit Along. This sweater that I am wearing is so cute. Um, and I get compliments on it all the time. And it is the Leela Na sweater by French Press Knits, Melinda Bernardi, Michigan Zone. And uh, this sweater is my favorite. And it is so my favorite that I have decided I'm gonna knit one a year. Um, I'm going to knit one a year. I have declared that it is my Mr. Rogers sweater and that I want one in every color. So I have very loosely been working my way through the rainbow. This is last year's. This orange yarn was the color of last year. I picked it up when I was in Norm, Denmark, and I uh, thought it was like the most beautiful, beautiful orange. 
uh, that I could find. And so this year I wanted to continue in that Roy G. Biv. I have red, I have orange. So it was yellow's year. And I have, it's tough. Allison, it's tough to find the perfect yellow. I think you disagree because all yellow is the perfect yellow. Is that, is that a fair statement? Yeah, as a proponent of yellow yarn, um, yeah, I, you know, sometimes you're looking for the perfect yellow and it's a different yellow than in, in your eyes, but I will never forget a moment. I used to, we used to stock at Knit One a shit ton of yellow yarn because I tons. always choose yellow and there were tons, tons of yellow yarn. And this woman came in one time and was like, I'm looking for yellow yarn. It's impossible to find. And I was like, you're in the right spot because I stock pretty much only yellow yarn and we pulled out like every yellow and she was like no it's not here bye and i was like you'll never find it it doesn't exist this doesn't yellow exist. is in your mind yeah only yeah. it lives it is a fantasy in your mind if it is not on this giant table right now uh because every single yellow is represented here um but yeah laura i agree with you if you have a yellow in your heart um you gotta find the yellow in your heart the yellow i find that i most commonly come across especially when i'm at like small in like indie shows or looking at indie dyers is more mustard i love mustard mustard is wonderful you're wearing mustard right now it's stunning i love it but my vision for the sweater was like the yellow behind you a bright canary yellow good old chemically bright bright yellow so that was the vision and i had been eyeballing um our friends at stonehenge fiber mill their shepherd's wool in buttercup beautiful beautiful but the sweater quantity just eluded me couldn't find it couldn't find it and now it's out of stock and it was time to make a decision so I'm going with Kelburn Wollens Camper. Uh, their, their color yellow, as it turns out, was the yellow of my dreams. So yellow it is. Miss McDougall, just yes. to, not to well actually. I'm in Germantown. I, I meant to just say Germantown. I meant Germantown because I saw the picture yep. and I was like, I meant to say Germantown. Great. Well, just because if you want on. to copy you. Um, yes. Uh, we and I did right properly here. attribute it in my socials. Yes, but yes. It is Kelburn Wellens German Town in the bullet skein, ready to go. Um, yes. in the colorway yellow. And uh, which does not exist in camper. You're you're looking at a sunflower heather if you're going camper, but I'm talking yellow. And that's the vision for this year. So starting in January, uh, that is when the Leland Calvin Leland annual Leland knit along begins and this is i'm excited because i like to get people to start thinking about it this time of year you can really hop in on some very cool small business saturday sales um coming up after thanksgiving you can start thinking about plans and then it's nice and claire is right it'll be so nice to start at that yellow in january that was absolutely my plan with this orange but this is all i wanted to look at when it was going to be gray gray january and so I like to put the reminder out that we're starting in January working on this sweater together. So if you have seen me wear any version of this sweater, my red, my blue, my orange, my cream, um, and now my yellow, you can totally hop on in January. It's a free form knit along. You can just participate however you like, but if you would like more guidance, because it is bottom up, which is pretty rare around these parts, uh, that tends to be not people's first choice but because it's bottom up i have some tips and tricks for you i will have a a work group a six-week work group through january and february so that will be released to party people on monday and then to gen pop on friday so that is very exciting thank you maddie um and if you have had alilana in your heart i've heard a, saw a lot of comments today in the party that people have long had this in their heart perhaps this is your year so Think it over. Think of your perfect color combo. Allison had a Leland on her heart for two years and finally was able to join me last year and made the most beautiful rose color. Yeah, look at this. And those guts are so good. Freshly worn. I got to look at it yesterday while we were co working. So it's good. It's too freshly worn. It's still thrown on a pile. Uh, yeah, look at this beauty. I mean, this is a beautiful ass sweater right here. It's stunning. Look at all of this beautiful freckle stitch staring at each other. 
the added bonus of my last year's sweater is that I used Odang DK as my contrast. So this, the interior of this is so soft and smushy and way too hot for the weather until this second. Today. So yes. it really worked out. It really worked yeah. out. But yeah, look at the beautiful, yeah. like rose, rosy, fabulous yes. in it Shepherd's is, Wall, I might add. Shepherd's Wool, yeah, antique rose. I think this is a perfect color. I love this color so much. I look like a fucking angel oh, yeah. sent straight, dew kissed angel in this That's color. Right. I don't know. Dew kissed, just like, ooh, just like the perfect blush. And it really, right it really goes with everything. It goes with your beautiful orafi. It goes with that beautiful gray. It goes with the mustard. It goes with the white. It goes with navy. I can tell you that. Um, mm -hmm. Love that. Rose, yeah. it's sorry, it's antique rose. Antique I always forget the rose. name. Rose, yeah, worth checking out. Worth checking yeah. out. So yeah, today was just a little reminder that Leela and I is coming your way, and I'm gonna have you know, uh, I'm gonna I have so much content coming up about Leela and I, So keep an eye out, and hopefully I will hashtag influence one if not all of you um, to join. And Pam is in the chat with a great reminder that it is uh, there are kids and adult sizes for the Lilana. And so there are a lot of folks that join in for kids size Lilanas and they are so, so consider cool. that would also count. That would also count for our knit along. So thank you, Allison, for teeing me up so so nicely. Well I know how everyone is so excited about this sweater. And uh truth be told it's not, I mean, I think it's great. I hardly ever knit sweaters twice. Uh, so the fact that people knit the sweater multiple times is just yeah. a tribute to uh, your leadership skills, Laura. I well, would say. listen, I, I find myself to be pretty persuasive. Uh, for me, if you subscribe to my newsletter, which you should, um, I go into a little bit more about like why I think I have imprinted so much on this sweater, but it's also just fun to have something to look forward to at the beginning of each year. Something that's not necessarily pressure. Like I find New Year's resolutions to be kind of, uh, but it's fun to have something waiting for you post holiday. Cause for me, there's a big crash. So I like having something in the new year to be like, okay, fun. Something to look forward to bright colors. So. I um I appreciate you all letting me make up my own tradition because it's really something I look forward to. So it's very it's helpful to have yeah, friends go along that. with your madness. Yeah, it's good yeah. times. Um, Allison, your orafi is looking so beautiful. Is that how we pronounce that? <laughs> Lord knows, it's Icelandic. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. That's how well, I say it as a proper Midwestern lady, not from Iceland. Yeah. It looks uh, so good. Is this your first time reaching for that this this uh, winter, winter, fall, winter? A hundred percent. Because like what you're saying, Laura, winter started about 12 hours ago in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we always grab our hottest sweaters uh, when it first, when that, when that first 32 degrees hits real hard. Uh, Get them yeah. off the bench. Real. Get them off the bench. Get off the bench. Get off the bench. And it's perfect, Laura, because while you did the hard sell for Lila and all, knit along, I need to do the hard sell for this sweater also. Oh, well, take it away. Thank you. Um, so a sneak peek, everybody, and I put this in my newsletter this morning, but this class, so much content, so much content, this class is going to be my Black Friday sale. Uh, wow. so if you are on the fence about a sweater that you want to, a second sweater. Obviously, you're going to knit the um, Leela and uh, knit along too. But if you need a second sweater, you want to take a class uh, with me. Um, uh, my Orefi class is going to be my Black Friday sale. So next weekend, uh, it will be a percentage off. I want to say 25%, <laughs> but I can write chicken out. And wow. Well, I know. We're, it's move, but there's moving parts. There's moving parts. Okay. So here, here's the hard sell for a rapey. Okay. Now, Listen up. this is an Icelandic sweater. So there's laws in Iceland. 
that everyone obeys. And one of them is you have to knit all of your Icelandic sweaters bottom up. Now, Laura is so good at teaching bottom up sweaters. I, that's not my brand. I don't do it. So the way that I'm going to be teaching this class is we are going to start at the yoke circumference and knit the yoke up and then go back to the body and knit the body and the sleeves down from the yoke circumference, all right? Um, and so we're gonna talk about using those skills to always modify your bottom-up sweaters or your Icelandic yoke sweaters to this hybrid um, way of, you know, so you can, you know, nail that fit just a little bit easier in the trickiest parts of of the re, you know the reasoning behind making a bottom up sweater. There are trickier aspects to it, um, and for me, this is my way around that is to just forget about the body and knit it later. So, um, and I really hate kicking the kicking the fun color work part down the road. I hate that. So we start off with the fun color work, um, and so that that's what we're going to be learning about in my class. This sweater also, I think the largest size of it is like a 42 bust. Uh, also very Icelandic. It's, they're not doing it on purpose. That's just their way. They have no fucking clue. So modifying a Icelandic sweater to all sizes is what we're going to be talking about as well. Um, and I am going to knit another one of these, Laura. You are well. It's it's a fave of yours. It is a fave it's of a yours. Fave. Now, did you, it's a will fave. you be making this out of the plutlopi that we brought back from no. Iceland, or what will you be using? I have some. So last year, I taught design your own yoke sweater class, and yeah. I designed my own yoke sweater like to here, and then I put it in a bag, um, and. I never went back to it because I wasn't like super happy with it. But basically what I designed was a shittier version of this. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to rip that out and just knit it out of the La Vienna Me uh, Corey uh, worsted that I have. In nice. Color. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be beautiful. Yeah. It's going to yes. be beautiful. Yes. Well, okay. I want to, I want to keep this, I want to hold the space to continue talking about this class. I feel, I'm sold. Um, we've already got people asking if they can modify the neck, which is like the whole point of no. knitting your own sweater, right? <laughs> uh, oh, yes. okay. Exactly. No, of course, you get to modify anything <laughs> you want to. Of course, I think I'm gonna skip the sleeve detail on my second one. So there, the point is absolutely, and to get yeah, something that fits really good. well and is above a 42 inch bust, which is, let's face it, a lot everyone, of people, including yeah, myself, uh, that yeah. sells itself, really. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, I, yeah, I'm really, I love this sweater, just like looking at myself in the sweater. Yes. I love it. Stunning. Um, I, yeah, I want another one. I personally really love this neck because it's so rare that you get to show off how beautiful your guts are while wearing mm -hmm. your sweater. I really like that part of it too. It's super cozy. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely make the neckline do whatever you want it to do. And we'll absolutely talk about that. Perfect. Yeah. Well, that I feel is a good kind of reminder that not only is Leland Cal starting in January, but our annual, I mean, the 29th annual, the 38th annual yoke along, like our, our tried and true annual yes. along begins in January as well. And I, and Orifi is a great candidate for yoke along. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to have a similar approach for Yoke Along where I started my Design Your Own Iceland sweater when we were in Iceland um, using the Design Your Own Yoke sweater worksheets. Um, and I'm just all right on the patterns that I designed. It's just all right for me. I have, I, I think I just want to find a chart that I already like and then modify yeah. that to fit me. So I just, I, I think I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to rip back what I've worked on and find an established Lopi Peza that I think is cute and then put that, uh, put my numbers into that because yeah. it's okay, but it's not quite my vision. So I totally yes. relate to what you're saying. I'm like, I would have picked it up and worked on it a little bit, but it's not the dream. And when you have like a perfect dream in your heart, you go back to it. 
So there is room to, to knit a, a second sweater that you like. Uh, I hold the space for that and I see you. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Yeah, I see the, I see the, like, the zigzag wanting to become the cube. I can see that. Mm -hmm. But your colors, unstoppable. Yeah, I would right? Say. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna rip this out and I'm gonna make this with these colors. It's gonna be great. Speaking of mustard, speaking of mustard. Speaking of mustard. Well, I love it. I wonder if these are the needles that I've been looking for. Yes, they are, my sixes. Yay. There they are. Yay. Well, they're coming home to you soon. Yeah, they coming are. Coming home to you yeah, soon. Well, I heard, I heard, oh, you you said chicken out earlier, and she just cannot be contained uh, because she heard a little birdie told her that there is now an emotional yeah a now an emotional support chicken class is that right? Yeah, because my uh, my business strategy is always give the people what they want, Laura. And I got asked to do an emotional support chicken class, like step-by-step -step class. And by God, if I didn't just find a little spot for it in my schedule. Um, so emotional support chicken class, including accessories, <laughs> uh, starts accessories. a week from Sunday on December 1st. It feels more normal to say December now that there's like six inches of snow um, yeah. on the ground. You know, December, uh, which is right December. around the corner. Yeah, it's happening. Um, so December 1st, it's going to be kind of a little weird schedule. It's like Sunday morning and then Wednesday night and Sunday morning and Wednesday night because you got to just fit it in where, where it can fit in. Um, but yeah, we're going to take it step by step so you too can have and emotional support chicken for the holiday season. And who doesn't need um, emotional support? During the these times. Yes, 100%. during these trying times, these unprecedented trying times. Yeah, it'd be great if we had some precedented untrying times sometime in the last decade, but that's not what's in the cards, so. No, great. of course not, which is why you should knit yourself an emotional support chicken. So um, this class, I got a couple sign-ups this morning. It is literally one, um, uh, let me see. It is literally one sign up away from opening um, recordings only registration. So if you're waiting for recordings only too, if that schedule is kind of weird for you, uh, that's probably going to drop pretty soon too. So keep an eye on it. Well, I have been dying to talk about um, it's like speaking of the opposite of giving the people what they want. I've been dying to talk about what I've got on the needles um oh yeah do we want to do our next segment oh god should we do a trigger warning though well it's i'm about to break your cardinal rule of business about giving the people what they want so you'll have to talk me down a little bit but okay yeah trigger warning everyone tw okay, um, uh if you're, you're about to do something upset. cute yes uh but but upsetting uh, upsetting mm -hmm. okay it is rough it's rough out there yep uh, you yep. don't like weaving so, and ends? Look away. <laughs> Buckle up. So, okay. So we had the beautiful Amy Palmer brought, uh, who is, I, I think, intar queen, chief intarsia defender, intarsia czar, if you will. If that wasn't such a mouthful to say, she would be the intarsia czar, czartarsia. Um, she brought forward like this that. beautiful, yes, snowflake pattern, all caps, um, that is a vest with an intarsia snowflake on the side. And I couldn't get it out of my brain and thought, why don't I try it? And I did. And this is the result, okay, of, it, it, and really, it does look beautiful. I picked beautiful colors. I picked beautiful yarn. I'm beautiful. This is all like all hunky dory. Um, and this is cleaned up, by the way, inside. Um, 
but this is what the inside looks like. Okay, and I would say I gave myself about a C plus on doing the intarsia, and this is the best case scenario. So I just, yeah. And the people um, keep saying, they're sliding into my DMs and they're saying, but Laura, I bought the pattern. When will this class be? I can't, I cannot it's, justify I this prepared. to you. I feel like I was prepared for it, but I wasn't prepared. It's so fucking terrible. Wow, it smells God. like my blood, sweat, and tears, okay? Um, my, just so bad. Okay. Like the experience I'm, I'm hurting. I'm hurting when you, I think back to when you made the satellite shawl in like seven days or something. And it was, and you were just like, uh, it wasn't the satellite. Sorry. It was the other Brio shawl. Um, oh, yeah. the, yeah, that crazy Andrew Mauer shawl in like six days. Uh, and you were like, no human should do that. Same with this. I knit it in an insanely, yeah, and I kept running out of yarn. So look at all this. Um, but this is insane. So I, I don't know that there's much to teach. Like you just have to do it and then live with this shit. And I can't justify it. This truly I, looks like, I, yeah, like a I Muppet. I feel physically ill. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you the worst part about it for me was I did my try on yesterday. And the worst part about it is it's gorgeous. I look awesome in it. There's a question in the chat. Does it feel healthier or healthier? <laughs> no, it feels very unhealthy. It, um, it feels sick. Does it, it feels like it has to yeah. be cold. I Yes. Does it feel heavier on the snowflake side? No. I used um, Beatrix, Juniper Moon Farm Beatrix which is a beautiful like chainette alpaca nylon -y situation. And it is, it is thick, but light. So this doesn't feel crazy yet. However, I haven't even begun to weave, weave in these ends. Haven't even begun. I need to, I want to block it first so that they can all kind of go where they're going to go and then weave them in because it's so slippery. So I'm sure it's going to feel and look crazy. Um, but yeah, this like wine color, th this time of year, like if I, if this was done and I went out and did a photo shoot in this, I would trick all of you into taking a little class with me about this. Um, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to get about this far and you're going to be like, mah, mah. I just, I don't see how people will finish. I don't, I barely like, look at how far I got into the ribbing and I've just been like, time for break can't do it so uh whatever if with all Listen, of that said i mean i can make class. it a work group do a class laura because do you think okay do yes here's why because i made the paul mccartney sweater right and everyone was like i want a class and i said no you don't want a class because you don't want to knit this it's so much knitting you'll never finish it and they said no allison we do want a class and god damn it laura if i haven't run that class four times <sighs> okay well i mean it's important to have these business discussions in front of the people but i i just feel um It'll stretch my abilities as a teacher. It will. It oh, will because great. we love that, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, how do I make this more approachable? I'll I'll fit with it. Um. So Agnes, if you're watching, I, Agnes is like, you please. Um. Yeah. I gotta have this class. Uh. Yeah, I'll I'll like meditate on it. People chunks. You know, giving people chunks to do. Yes. You know, week to week is helpful. Tips and tricks is good. Um, yeah, everybody's unwell anyway, so might as well make them worse, right? I mean, yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, we we have our emotional support chickens that all right see us through this. Um, yeah. Uh, well, that's I, a great I, question. Oh, sorry. 
I yes, just feel I, like give the people what they want, Laura, even when you tell them that they don't want this. If they yeah. say, yes, actually, we do want it, you have to give them what they want. That's how we end well, up with the second Trump presidency, okay? You can't tell people that they don't want something that they actually want. Tell it to well, them. Well, that is a funny, that would be a funny class name, the liberal snowflake class. Um, so... <laughs> Like, we're all a bunch of whiny liberal snowflakes. I will mill it over. It sounds like this is a job for a poll. So I will put a poll up in the party, engage your real interest, um, and we'll go from there. But I uh, I will certainly share my experiences. Will it kill you? No, I, I, am, I am alive. Um, I would have loved to have paced it out a little bit better. So that's one thing I could teach everyone. Um, and then the question that I get a lot that Lisa just asked is, what is the difference between intarsia uh, and color work? Meaning, what is the difference between intarsia and stranded color work? Uh, this is speaking of Allison's guts, right? When we talk about our guts that we're looking at, this is stranded color. Work. And you can tell it is stranded color work because of the floats, the strands that we are currently flashing at you in the camera. So this this is knit entirely in the round and then you pull strands or floats along the back to create the pattern in the front. So that is our beautiful guts in stranded color work in the round. Intarsia has to be knit flat and you can get some more detail in these big like painting with yarn situations. But the downside is especially it's the fact of the intarsia, but it's also the fact of this design is extra insane because every little space on one line of color work, anytime you see an interruption of one color into another, you have to introduce a separate strand of yarn. So this one row looks like you would be holding two strands and just stringing them along, but in fact, no, you're holding a strand here, putting it down, picking up a different strand, 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 putting it up. Then just one strand for this guy, putting it down, picking up a different. That is what's going on with, and that is what creates all this. So the detail that you can achieve with Intarja, <laughs> Lisa's like, thanks, fuck that. So yes. Uh, would a smaller project be a better entry point? By all means. However, I mean, we have I, we have tried to convince ourselves to make that. Um, what is that hat? Remember the one that ki that almost killed Julie? Remember that hat? <laughs> that one with the shape. Yeah, welt or weft or something. Was doing it, it's cute. But yeah, that but that's also ribbed color work. Ribbed. Yeah, in Tarja. Which is worse. That's the worst version of Intarja is when it's in rib because it's even harder to hide the color yes. changes. And it's funny that uh, the question that Jody's asking, would a smaller project be a better entry point? Because even when everybody, we, we had a knitting retreat, everybody on the retreat survey said, that I would like to learn more about Intarsia. And Allison put together the simplest possible Intarsia project that was a circle. It's a little, oh, star, it was a star. A star. It was a small. It was In a little swatch. Simple, simple. Those people could not be bothered to get up off their asses and go over to the table to attend that breakout session. No. That's how hard it is to get everybody to do And I was like, guys, in Tarja, and they were like, actually, can we just have a cocktail instead? I was like, absolutely, you can just have a cocktail instead. So I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know. I think that you have to have enthusiasm. Enthusiasm for how beautiful this is is the only thing that got me through. Um, so, all right, but here, but I am listening to my business uh, partner and the most professional business business person that I know um, telling me that I have to do this. So, yeah, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye yeah, out. I, I don't know. Yeah. 
So I always fight people when they say, I want to knit this, but I'm going to do a smaller project first to learn the techniques. I feel like, especially these days, you just need to do the thing that you want to do. And yeah. you're not going to learn anything in that smaller piece. Um, except maybe patience, um, uh, that you're not just going to learn by diving in. It's like the, yeah. the myth of the scarf, you know, that when you are a beginner yeah. knitter, you have to knit a scarf as like a gateway drug to the other shit. Scarves are the fastest beginner knitter killer that there is out there. And so the, yeah, the idea that you need to practice before you jump to the project that you actually want to make, um, I hate that. So if you're looking at this snowflake sweater and you're like, wow, I really want that, um, then I just talked Laura into teaching the class. So you're going to yeah. sign up for the class and you're going to learn the techniques and then you're going to know um, whether Intarja is for you. And I will say Intarja is not for me, but do I get bamboozled every once in a while to do an Intarja project? A hundred percent I do because th these are just good skills to have when something like that comes up and you're like, I can't say no, I can't quit you, you know? Yeah. So so yeah, I I think that if you're looking at that snowflake sweater and you're like, I just love that. And it would be fun to be with a bunch, you know, misery loves company. Be with yeah. a bunch of people who are real who are making it and hating hating it. And you guys can just like <laughs> laugh and get it get through it and then have these beautiful sweaters. I say do it, you know? All right. Well, uh, it sounds like not even a poll. Just keep an eye out. Um, we'll also, we'll launch it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, uh, your complaints can come to me. That's Allison at AllisonDeckheisen.com. Oh my God. Right? Good luck. Right over. Good luck, everyone. Uh, yeah. So crazy. Um, I love it. Uh, Laura, I have to tell you, though. Yes that yesterday morning when we were at co-working and you were like, yeah, I really have to black that and make sure that it fits. I about shit in my pants, literally. Yeah. I was so nervous that you went through yeah. this entire process and it would be horrible. So when I saw yeah. your Instagram story about how amazing that thing fits, I I have not felt a relief like that in ages, Laura. I have to say, I was feeling the nerves for you. It was, uh, I did everything wrong. I did everything wrong, um, which is why <laughs> you should take a class with me. <laughs> because I just thought... This is a this is kind of a bullshit thing to do. I'm not going to get it done in this lifetime. Whatever. And so, it It's true. Yeah. Every time I saw you for the past like 10 days, you've been like, "Oh, I got this much done, but I'm not picking this back up. I'm ripping this out." No, oh, I'm like, "I got this much done. I'm not I'm yeah. done. I'm not doing yeah. this." Oh, actually, yeah. I got this much done, but I can't do this anymore. I know. Not, That's like, what Amy every was saying. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it hurt, but it was just, then I would just come, I mean, and I would just see this on my couch, and it was just like, get it off my couch, like, you're, you're in my seat, and so I'd have to sit down and be like, get off of my seat, and yeah, I also had a lot of documentaries about cults I had to rewatch, yeah. and, and, you know, now it's now, so... You know, I don't know. It, uh, thank you for talking me through that and for telling me that, uh, that giving me a potential business opportunity. Um, I'll look it. forward to the, the three to four insane people that will enjoy me. That will be so fun. Um, people love a challenge too, you know? Yeah. Like we were kind and of I talking about say, the garment sewing workroom this week too, where where you're just like, I like this is boring. I'm not connecting with this. This is boring. I need something huge. I need to like dig in and learn and figure it out. And you know, that's kind of nice to have like an all 
encompassing project that you kind of have to battle a little bit. Yeah. It feels good to have a distraction like that sometimes where you can just kind of quiet your mind and focus. I, I feel like that anyway. I agree. Well, and a couple of months ago, we had this discussion at Knit Night that then was like a big poll about your white whale project. Um, and we, yes. I, we had people share their white whale projects. I put together a bundle. And yeah. I've been thinking about how to like talk to people about tackling the white whale this coming year yeah. or over the next couple of years. Uh, so this can, we can throw this on the white whale pile. Um, and I will say uh, other folks that are knitting along, shout out to uh, Grace Van Moore, shout out to Amy. Um, are using the Knit Picks Wonder Fluff, which is a super like reasonable oh, price point, yes. and it's knitting up really beautifully. So it you know doesn't have to bring the bank um, for this little experience, a little experiment. So yeah, especially okay. if you're kind of going in thinking maybe I'm gonna get halfway through this and want to actually set it on fire. Like maybe I yeah. won't be able to get through it. You don't want to spend two hundred dollars on yarn that you're gonna set on fire, right? So this is a good talk. Thank you. Meeting concluded. Appreciated. Um, right. oh, I well, also, I oh, oh, yes, go ahead. No, go ahead. Can I, can I, I, I was just really trying to remember if I brought it. Yeah, I, what's in that beautiful bag? Oh my gosh, oh, look at that beautiful this, custom bag. This custom bag with royal all over it? it that is so royal. stunning and well-made. Oh, oh my God. Now, what colorwork techniques are we looking at here? Any in Tarja? God, no. Never <laughs> in a million years. Though I did teach in Tarja when I was doing this because uh, shout out to Megan McPhee. She's making her dog. She's in my dog sweater class. She's making her dog like a super man. Like Kate. Oh, wow. She yeah. She needs that like Superman shield. And I, we were kind of brainstorming it, and the only way to do it really was intarsia. So I taught intarsia for, um, you know, intarsia technique. She's gonna do it. So she's gonna um, like intarsia the s, what which is actually gonna be an that, f for her dog Finn, um, and then duplicate stitch the f on top of the intarsia like so shape. a combo. Well, I yeah. love the outline of your four. So this is, is your four all duplicate stitch? Wow, that looks incredible. Very good on camera. It looks, it looks like silver. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, like kind foil. Of blue and silver? Yes. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, duplicate stitch that and the letters. Ladder back. Uh, I, I knew it was a combo, a combo of techniques, combo. none of which are in Tarja, and you can see how crisp and clean that looks. So what is there left to do? It looks like you're getting close to the bottom there. Well, I've got my other little sleeve. Isn't that so fucking cute? It looks like the perfect, I love it. No, oh dear. Uh, oh, I can hear you, Laura, I just can't see you. Oh, there you are, hello. I don't know. My camera died. Very strange. Anyway. Oh, weird. Anyway. Very. Um, yeah. So oh, they were calling this sporty spice. Uh, Royal's going to look like a little sporty spice ribbing. Oh, camera's back. That was fun. That was a fun trip. Yeah. Um, so I have to put the second little leg on. And I just picked up stitches for around the bottom of the sweater. So he's going to also get a little rib um, around the bottom. So home stretch, home stretch. Oh Hopefully my God. Right? It's perfect and perfect weather for it. All the more motivating. Perfect weather for it, exactly. So how are you finished with that class? Or are you right in the middle of it? Let, nope, last night was the last class. Yeah, um, it was just a quick little four parter. We got a lot of really cute looking dog sweaters out of it. We had a lot of fun in that class. Uh, so hopefully um, uh, you start seeing some dog sweaters popping up on the party feed uh, pretty soon. Oh my God. They're very, very cute. Um, and what's nice about this 
too is speaking of nitpicks this always just turns into a nitpicks ad i don't know why why are we not affiliated links oh yeah, it kills me seriously we gotta talk to nitpicks and start having them yeah, send us free we do this is okay. nitpick brava worsted uh so i will be able to just throw this in the washer and the dryer um uh, which is so nice because i was reminded this morning of how fucking annoying it is uh stepping outside when it is like this and then you have to get back inside and you're just like oh where do i put all my stuff where's my boot mat where's my where, where's my dog yep. towel you know you have yep. to do all the rigmarole the it stations so are not ready the stations aren't ready yeah, yeah exactly stations need to get ready by the time yes. this turns into uh rain because then it's just going to be a mud pit out there yeah. uh and that's just not going to do it so so yeah so i'm super proud of this uh i have not uh, seen it at this level it looks pristine i just love it i'm so pumped about it i can't wait uh to finish it up maybe tonight um uh, and uh yeah so that has been taking a lot of my attention the the other project that i'm working on i haven't really been knitting a whole lot uh, i've been working on other projects but i think i showed my one finished sock before i haven't i turned my heel and i've been working away on the foot of this too so i am pretty close to being done with my christmas socks just love it. I am continuing on slowly but surely. I have about an inch more to go on my sledding scarf because this knit along is still knitting along and I haven't abandoned her. It's the one so thing I'm doing at a reasonable pace, but I'm very close. And this talk about harvest dream. Hello. No so this is going at a reasonable pace. Um, yeah, one more inch and then I'm back and time for keyhole number two. So this is such a fun little project. God, it's yeah. fun. I was thinking about my sledding scarf um, because I had to break out the giant coat uh, today. Yeah, um, yeah, I saw I, a reel I, to that effect. Yeah, I made a reel. I made a reel, Laura, because you got to market. Always be marketing. Yeah. I'm going to grab my coat because I feel like this is a That's cool. I'm going to show. So last week I had talked about uh, my chonky reindeer. So I had, I was able to, oh, there's a count. I was able to turn the heel live in my class last week. So I've got to just figure out the foot here. But I also accidentally made an entire second stocking in advance of that class too. Uh, so I just thought this little like, like gingerbread, maybe gingerbread life is just the cutest. They're so cute. Look at the little men. I don't know what I thought they were. I know they're this side's better. Uh, they look more so they look more like, mask I for mask. They were kind of little aliens. Yes, yes, and um, such as aliens. Yes. Yeah, but they're so, they're also the exact size of their house. I'm gonna say it's forced perspective. Like they're walking down the path to go in their house. They're not gonna. They're not the same size. But I thought the blue and white was very yeah. Like, I'll just eat my house. Uh, but I just love this vibe, as you know. I love a navy and white. So. You have to bite off the legs so they can make it inside the yep. house. So they can yep. army They'll crawl. just like <laughs> crunch themselves in half, leave the legs outside. Like. Anyway. But yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was supposed to be my razzle dazzle for you to uh, show us your coat. Show us your coat. I love it. Okay. So I have this giant coat that I made. Um, it's the best. Um, it's huge. It is literally a sleeping bag. Um, so poofy, just the best. It has this really nice collar that buttons up. But when it is very windy and very snowy, the snow does like crawl in. So last year I was like wrapping my little Sophie scarf kind of around and it fit really nicely in there. But the sledding scarf will be even better because yes. I won't have to like fuss with it because you just, it just like locks in, you know? So putting a little sledding scarf right there. Oh my God. I, when I was half, I got like halfway down the block and snow was just going directly into Ugh. my coat. Ooh. And I was like, 
where the fuck did I put my sledding scarf on? <laughs> Hello, idiot. So that is just another pitch for a sledding scarf. I also sledding scarf. It sits up on its own. Just needed to do that last little reminder because I know there's other sledders out there. Um, and now yeah. that we have this crap weather, why not finish this up with me so we can all uh, look so look so cute and ready for sledding weather. So cute. Yes, looks so cute. Yeah, my final, uh, like we're wrapping it up. It, it was November's knit along. Um, so I think it's yeah. December 2nd. I'm going to pop up live and just kind of wrap it up. Um, it, things have slowed down. We had a lot of enthusiasm at the beginning of the month. Something happened though, maybe around like November 8th that really put people off um, life. Um, so who knows, but what we're, we're ramping back up. All right. So maybe, we are, maybe pull that back we are, what we're going to embrace Christmas chaos. So that's what's happening over on the party. We're doing yeah. lots of silly shenanigans. Jam vent is back. We're doing movie screenings, anything like holiday insane related. It's going to be over in culture corner. So give it a follow, check it out. I am so excited to watch the Chad Michael Murray stripper Christmas movie uh, out on Netflix now. We're watching it. I think it's like a week from Saturday, maybe two weeks from mm -hmm. Saturday. That's going to be the first holiday movie, right? That's right. Why That's not right. Bring in the holiday season with Chad Michael Murray um chad michael Mudd, the merry gentleman episode, yeah um on the gilmore guys podcast uh how i will always remember him as chad michael Mudd, mudface he sucks so much yeah hopefully we won't have to focus on this part so much it'll be the whole rest of his body so we will just objectify him and not let him talk uh that's how i, I prefer that. yeah that's how i'm gonna protest uh yes. the new matriarchy but that will be unhinged um and i have to say i just i've been talking about this forever and i'm just gonna say that it's holiday adjacent and we're gonna throw up um the eurovision movie um because it's related to iceland it's i just want to watch some yaya ding dong i just want yaya ding dong right now um and i feel like it's it makes sense so we're gonna throw up the Eurovision movie. Yeah, cinema, a cinematic that experience. movie is a perfect movie. It's, I just wanna watch it with all of you is really where that's coming from. So eyes on the prize, yes, I did get that push notification. And side note, well, we'll we're kind of into our culture corner moment as well, um, where I legitimately recommend the show Somebody Somewhere on HBO. I think it is a charming little show um, that is, uh, uh, it just hits on all of the things in a really sweet way and I love it. And in its new season, the Yaya Ding Dong guy shows up as a love interest and I just am so charmed by him. Um, so I've got Iceland on the brain. It always makes me feel festive and uh, I think that we could have- So many good sweaters. Uh, have some good times. So, yeah, many so many good sweaters and just it's, weird it's shit legitimately funny um yeah i and russia's the bad guy Brosnan, which is accurate pierce Brosnan uh has never been hotter never oh, been hotter so hot and withholding so i like him <laughs> my favorite my perfect man yay oh you spend your whole day out on the <laughs> ship with no communication whatsoever I love you. Marry me. <laughs> Dad? No. He's <laughs> <laughs> <be> terrible. <laughs> just kidding. My dad was afraid of the water. <laughs> Mine wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, well, holiday honesty for the people. Yeah. You know, we're coming up on Thanksgiving, and if you're not laughing, you're crying. So keep that in mind when That's you're dealing right. with your families, ladies and ladies. Yeah, um, yeah, ding dong. Seriously, that Eurovision movie, which is called 
something. It's called like Fire and Ice Saga colon Eurovision. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, but um, it's but it Will Ferrell, Rachel McAdams playing Icelanders. It's so funny. Yeah. I love it. It's so funny. It's so good. Um, and yeah, you're gonna love it. I can't wait to watch it with everybody. Also, Laura, I will never forget when you made us watch it yes, on a snow weekend and we were looking for something to watch and laura goes we're watching this eurovision movie and we all went yeah. laura no will ferrell no and you were like listen i don't fucking care what your opinions are i yeah. wish you play on this so deal with it and we were like Yep. Okay. But you were right. That movie's great. We had a great time. Literally laughed and cried. Uh, it was perfect. Yeah. And every what time I actually... now, we're like, uh, we should just watch yeah, the go. movie again. <laughs> hey. I well, and the real way that I accomplished that everyone was I did the I did the opposite of that where I was like, well, you guys might not like it, but you just turn it off for ten minutes. That's how you can trick your family into watching it this holiday season two. It's like let's just give it ten, and then you'll be like, what's going on? What? And then you won't be able to turn it off. So that's how they get you. And as Natalie says, it's cinema. It's great. Uh, Matthew Crowley popping up as the Russian. Um, uh, He's having so much fun. He's having so much fun. And we it. are having so much fun. And if you are remotely into Eurovision, there's like cameos for days that are apparently amazing. And I don't I'm know what's not, going on there. I don't know, I don't know her for her. Who can, who can say? Yeah. But the ethos, the general ethos, I enjoy and understand. And that's that's what I'm there for. So. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And Rachel McAdams, I've always felt like she should be a bigger star. I love her so much. I know. I know. I know. It's really, oh man, her like love story with Ryan Gosling too, like that whole like time period. Oh man. I just think they'll always love each other. I believe that. Simpler time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Uh, well, well I, I feel like that'll do us, Laura. I feel like that'll do us. Yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty of content, people. I mean, you're getting regular newsletters from the both of us on Thursday and this live. Like, you're, you're golden. This is great news. Yeah. This is great news. So much content. Uh, next week, we will not be live because that is Thanksgiving Day. Um, so watch a parade or something, um, but oh, there will Lions. still be Lions Bears, baby. Look Football. at your Instagram for a uh, model, a cute, the cutest dog model in the land uh, for his Thanksgiving outfit. But yes. we will have plenty of content for you. We've got a Black Friday sale on Orefi class coming your way. We have more details on the Lilana work group. And Laura's December 1st, Jam Vent uh, is back. Yeah. And Laura's about to put up a class for her snowflake sweater. So it's coming. It's that. coming. Coming soon. Coming soon. Uh, yeah, I love that. I love that for everybody. Laura, you are going to be out in sunny California uh, next I will. week. Um, so I have will. a great time. Have a great time. Thank you. Yeah, I will be looking forward to uh, telling you all of my tales at midnight on Tuesday. Um, and yeah, I am already looking forward to it. I, I, the snow today is nice, but you know, now I'll go and get back in 70 degree weather. Just kidding. Yeah, Just how kidding. we do, how we do. All right, everybody, mm -hmm. have a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe, don't kill your family, and we'll see you next time.